and I fell in panic mode after what full list of every sponsor who supported protesting athletes shows backslash. When Americans turn on the TV to watch NFL football, the last thing they want is to be bombarded by the anti-American sentiments of oppressed millionaires whining about the injustices of our country. Over the past couple of weeks nearly empty stadiums and viewership plummeting into the double digits has spelled disaster for the NFL of things to come, as angry fans prove they can easily find other ways to spend their money and precious time. Over the weekend, players held massive protests across the NFL to defy President Trump's call for Americans to boycott them, where over 200 athletes took a knee or sat with entire teams choosing to stay in the locker room as the national anthem played. These players have grown increasingly cocky over the past week, believing they're unstoppable, while ignoring the will of their patriotic fans, who are now causing their viewership to plummet into the double digits. As more and more angry Americans are boycotting the NFL in droves, unfortunately for this anti-American establishment, a list of all their corporate sponsors have just leaked. And now Americans have a list of corporations and businesses to boycott, as angry fans look for new ways to send a clear message to the NFL that we will not tolerate these players' disgusting behavior any longer. If there's one thing we've learned from liberals, it's how to fight dirty. Whenever liberals go after conservatives, they always go directly for their sponsors and lead boycotts of products and companies. Well now it's time for we the people to take the exact same approach towards our favorite sport being hijacked by these nasty anti-American leftists, and put a stop to the NFL once and for all by protesting with our wallets. Below is a list of the NFL's 25 corporate sponsors. Spread this like wildfire. NFL Sponsors List 2017 Anheuser-Busch Barclay Card US Bose Bridgestone Campbell's Soup Company Castrol Courtyard Marriott Dairy Management Incorporated, Fuel Up to Play 60 Danon Extreme Networks FedEx Frito-Lay Guiderade Hyundai Motor America Mars Snack Food Microsoft Nationwide News America Papa John's Pepsi Procter & Gamble Quaker. Verizon. Visa. USA. USA is a popular military appreciation sponsor of the NFL, who no doubt needs to take a stand against these protests. USA members are calling for the company to end its sponsorship with the NFL after recent protests by professional athletes during the national anthem, Burr reported. Let's remind these sponsors that we'll be happy to continue using their products once they pressure the NFL to do something about hundreds of players disrespecting a country with freedoms that were paid for with the blood of those who fought to preserve it. The very least these players can do is give up a few moments of their time to pay respect to the country that affords them a millionaire's lifestyle, conservative fighters reported. If this list gets out, it could spell disaster for the NFL. Breaking reports early Tuesday morning reveal that Congress is moving forward with a bill that would defund the NFL, as 46% of the funding for their stadiums and renovations comes straight from the wallets of the American taxpayers. We previously reported. One thing people don't realize is the NFL currently gets over a billion dollars in taxpayer-funded federal subsidies. The fancy stadiums that these entitled players continue to kneel and disrespect our country and were bought and funded by the American taxpayer, where we've foot the bill for 20 NFL stadiums since 1997. Over the past 20 years, the American people have spent spent a whopping $7 billion to renovate or build NFL stadiums, providing 46% of the total costs of these fancy stadiums. But all that could soon change after what Congress just announced. In the U.S. Senate, there is a bill currently being reviewed that would ban the use of federal money for the construction and financing of professional sports arenas. Conservative Fighters reports. In the U.S. House and Senate, there is bill currently reviewed which will ban the use of federal money for financing the construction of professional sports arenas. Oklahoma Republican Rep. Steve Russell first presented the bill a few months ago and now has become an interest to others as well as the NFL players continue to express their dishonor of America.
the bill already has bipartisan support. The federal government is responsible for a lot of important functions, but financing sports stadiums for multi-million, sometimes billion, dollar franchises is definitely not one of them, Rep. Russell said. The financing is a form of community bonds that channel taxpayers' money into the projects for construction of sports arenas. For the past 17 years, 36 professional athletic stadiums have been built or renovated by federal tax-exempted municipal bonds. This cost taxpayers $3.2 billion, the caller explained, quoting information from the Brookings Institute. Advocates for the federal funding of professional sports arenas often justify the costs by pointing to economic development, but new research shows that isn't true. There is no statistically significant positive correlation between sports facility construction and economic development, the Journal of Economic Perspective said. It's time that the NFL starts paying attention to their vast fan base that's comprised of patriotic and red-blooded Americans. Unless the NFL merely wants empty stadiums for their racist athletes to protest in, they better put an end to these nasty anti-American protests, very, very quickly.